Welcome to YQ Academy Tutorials. My name is Priyanka and topic for today's discussion is data types in JavaScript. So data types are used to hold different types of values. We have two categories of data types in JavaScript. First one is primitive data type and another is non-primitive data type. In this video lecture, I am going to discuss about this primitive data type with few examples as well. So we have six types of primitive data types. First one is a string, which is used to represent a sequence of character. Then we have number data type, which is used to represent some numeric value like 10.1, 20, and so on. Then we have begin data type, which is used to store and operate on large numbers or large integers. Then we have boolean data type, which is used to represent a boolean value. We have undefined data type, which is used to represent undefined value, which means the values you have uh, declared but not assigned any number or any big int or a string. Now we have null data type as well which is used to represent null that is no value at all. So let's take few examples of all these primitive data types one by one. I'm using Visual Studio code for running the program and I created a new folder namely JavaScript. And using this icon over here, I created a new file and I named this file as data type. And I saved this file with .js extension. And to see the output, I created a new terminal like this. And here we can see the terminal window gets open. So let's start with string data type. So strings are written with quotes. We can use single as well as double quote. Let me show you how. So I'm creating a variable and I'm using a var keyword and the variable name I'm taking as S1 and I'm assigning a value, some a string in double quote this time. So let's write YQ Academy in double quote. I can use single quote as well like this. The variable name I'm taking as S2 and I'm using this time single quote and let's write something like this. Now to see the output, uh, first let, let's write console.log and then the variable name that is s1 s2 and to see the output let's write node the file name that is data type with extension that is .js now to see the output click on the enter button and we can see the output as here we can also use quotes inside a string but point to be noted that they don't match the quotes surrounding a string which means that if you are using this uh, double quote and you have written something and if you want to show this academy in quotes, you can do that but by using single quote like this. Now, if you are using single quote, then this academy can be written in double quote. And to see the output, let's write node data type.js. And on clicking the enter button, we can see the output like this. Now, let's see JavaScript numbers. So, numbers can be written with or without decimals. JavaScript numbers are stored as decimal numbers. Let's uh, take few examples like um, um, declaring a variable n1 and I'm assigning value 34. And let's take another example where and2 and let's assign some decimal value in it. And to see the output, let's write uh, console.log and then the variable name that is n1, n2. And in terminal window, write node and the file name. And on clicking the enter button, we can see the output. So numbers can be used like this. Now let's move on to a JavaScript begint data type. So JavaScript begint is a new data type that can be used to store integer values that are too big to store by normal JavaScript number. Let's take example um, where x and I'm assigning some very big number integer number in it. Let's take this. So in terminal window, let's see the output. So in terminal window, output, you can see the output as this. Now, since it is a very big number, uh, which can be stored by normal JavaScript number, so it should be written as where assign this very big integer value in some another variable like this. Okay. And then use the 
data type that is begint and then like this now if you write console dot log and then this variable name that is y and if you run this piece of code you can see the output as this okay so uh, it is for very big integer values which cannot be stor stored in normal javascript number variable now let's move on to a boolean data type so let me write console dot log and then let me write 2 is greater than 3. So we can see the output here false. Okay, since this 2 is not greater than 3, therefore we can see the output as false. We can also write like this. Let's create few variables. Variable, let's say m1, and here I'm taking some value as 2, and in variable m2 let's assign a value again 2 and now let's write console dot log and then use the comparison operator like if m1 is equal to m2 or not okay so here to see the output let's write no data type dot js and on clicking the enter button we can see the output as true since this m1 is equal to m2 now let's take another uh, data type uh, that is undefined data type so a variable without a value has the value undefined. Let me show you how. If I uh, create a variable using var keyword and the variable name I'm taking as var1, please notice here I only declared the variable and I didn't assign any value to it. And if you write console.log and then the variable name that is var1 and if you run this program here like this, you can see as undefined. Since I only declared the variable and I didn't assign any value to it. So it is undefined. This variable is undefined. Now let's take our last primitive data type that is null. So null data type in JavaScript is nothing. Uh, it is supposed to be something that does not exist. Let me uh, tell you by examples what I mean. Let me write where. And then uh, let me give the variable name as uh, hello and let me assign null to it. So it means that um, this hello variable, its value is null and type is object. Let's see the output. Let me write console.log and then this variable name hello. And if you run this piece of code, you can see the output as null. Let me tell you one more thing about null data type in JavaScript um, that we can empty a variable that hold an existing object by setting it to null like this. Let me create a variable using var keyword and the variable name I'm taking as z and I'm assigning some value or objects to it. Let me write 10 over here. Now if I write like this z equals to null and then let me show you the output of this. So let me write console.log and then z. And if you run this piece of code, you can see the output as null. Okay. Since uh, we emptied the variable z uh, that holds the existing value 10 um, by setting it to null. So that was it for today's video about uh, primitive data types. In our uh, next lecture, we'll discuss about non-primitive data types in JavaScript. Thank you for watching.